Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to extract date from date and timestamp with the help of Vivio. So, let's see how it works. First, select the cells where you want to extract the date. And now, click on this button. You can see the date has been extracted from the date and timestamp. So, let's understand how to create this. So, to do this, first you have to open Visual Basic application. So, press Alt F11 and go to Insert that module. Now, here we will type the subroutine to extract the date. So, type sub extract date. And now we will declare a range. So, type theme rng as range and now we will create a loop for the selection so type here for each rng in selection here next rng within this loop we will check whether the range has the date or not if it has date then it will extract the date otherwise it will skip that range so type here if is date bracket open rng equal to true then close and if and within this if we will type here with rng and here end with and within this range dot value equal to int bracket open rng so this will convert the date into an integer number then we will convert this integer number into date. So dot number format equal to dd hyphen mm hyphen y y y y. Hyphen close. Okay. So this is the code with the help of which we can extract the date. So now let's go to Excel and we have to create a button like this and right click and assign macro okay so we assign a macro to this button now select cell and click extract date here you can see it's the date of 2023 22 23 22 in this way so click extract date so you can see we got all the date so this is how we can extract a date from multiple date timestamp with the help of VVA. So I hope you have understood this tutorial very well. But still, if you have any queries, you can write me in the comment section. I will surely reply to your queries. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. And do not forget to subscribe our channel to support our work. Thanks for watching the video till the end. See you soon in the next tutorial.